Hello friends, this is DMC Aim and this is my quick review of Java House Coffees. This is their Espresso Ground Coffee and this is one that I picked up in the company shop along with the Kenyan which you may have seen I reviewed recently and I got these for both for a pound which um, was a bit of a bargain. I think they've got a quite a short um, best before date on them so we'll take a look at that in a moment hand roasted with love ground coffee espresso indulgent notes of rich caramel chocolate 227 gram bag storage instructions there and the best before date on there I think is the 20th of the 8th 2021 so yeah not long to go on the best before date on this one uh, as I say, storage instructions and here's the contact information there, Java House Africa. It's a Kenyan coffee company based in Nairobi. And on the other side, it says we opened our first Java House house in 1999 with the aim of selecting, roasting and serving the finest coffee available in East Africa. The simple dream grew and now we are recognised by many as the finest coffee brand in Africa. Take the Java experience home. And just ways to brew your coffee there on the other side. And uh, it must be distributed by an English company there as well. So that is it for the pack. It's got a nice little tab on the top there to reseal the bag in once you've opened it as well. So let's take a look at the ground coffee. Very, very dark this one. Uh, quite a consistent grind and quite fine. I wouldn't quite say it's espresso fine. But the aroma is chocolatey. It's rich and sweet. It's very slightly smoky and oily. As overall, it's a bit subdued and not as potent as I was expecting. And like the Kenyan I've reviewed uh, from Java House, it's got a slight vanilla hint just lurking there in the background. And also like the Kenyan, I really didn't like the aroma but enjoyed drinking it. So I'm hoping this one will be the same. It reminds me a bit of a sort of Aldi or Lidl coffee from the aroma, but I'm expecting something a little bit better from the taste. Slightly clumping together there, so yeah, maybe slightly oily, I would say. So, well, similar to the Kenyan I reviewed, reviewed Taste wise, it's better than the aroma of the coffee. It's rich and caramelly. There's a slight floral French roast type hint there. And again, like the Kenyan, there's a strange hint of vanilla there, but it's very subtle. It's a strange one in body too, where it starts off really full bodied, coating the mouth. Then that sort of fades a bit at the end when it all goes a bit sort of watery. But at least you get a clean finish and they're not grabbing a glass of water after a cup to clean the palate. It's medium to high in bitterness and it's constant throughout. And there's no acidity. Um, it's not really one I would recommend this coffee unless you like a blast of bitterness from your coffee. It's nice enough but too flat and too bitter for me. And I'll give it a score of 2.5 out of 5. I got a bargain for a quid, but it's a sort of little standard coffee. So uh, wherever it is available for sale, I wouldn't really be happy uh, to pay more than sort of 2 quid for this one. I'll take a look on Amazon and I'll add the link below so we can have a laugh when we find out that um, yeah, it goes for about a 5 and a pack this one. Um, and as I say, I wouldn't really recommend it at that price. So I'd really like to hear from anyone who's tried this coffee or any of the other Java House coffees. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. 
and if you want to see more coffee reviews in the future subscribe to my channel thanks for watching bye for now chocolatey it's rich and sweet it's very slightly smoky and oily as overall it's a bit subdued Jesus <clears throat>